The man who shot and killed two Georgia correctional officers a couple of years ago has been found dead in his cell at Jackson Prison. So let's talk about it. <laughs> Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Shout out to all the law-abiding criminals out there. As always, you know what to do. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to hear more stuff like this, go ahead and like, subscribe, share, do all those cool things. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Also, check out the links that I have below in the description of the video. I got the awesome merch over there, the straight out of lockups, the law-abiding criminal tees, the book that I wrote, Strength and Conviction from Prison to Positive Change, all the stuff that I use for self-defense, all the links to everything is down there, so make sure you check that out also. But guys, forgive me. I'm having to film outside today. I went to go sit down in what I call my studio, and I cannot find the cord to my desktop mic. So I'm out here. I got the GoPro. Hopefully the audio will be good enough. If you see me fanning and stuff, just give me a pass, man. These damn gnats are horrible down here in this South Georgia heat. And without further ado, let's get right into it. If you haven't seen my video already on this escape situation, uh, go check that out first. There'll be a link to it that'll pop up somewhere, either here or there. I don't know which side, but click that card and it'll take you to the video and you'll see what I'm talking about if you're not familiar. It was big nationwide news so uh, you should be kind of familiar with this situation if you're keeping up with prison content at all. Two individuals um, supposedly affiliated with a white prison gang called Ghostface overtook two correctional officers in Georgia on a transport and they were both shot and killed, shot in the head to be exact. And uh, Ricky DuBose was one of those individuals. Well, recently, Sunday, at Jackson State Prison, which is where they have death row, he was found dead in his cell of an apparent suicide. Now, I'm going to link this story below so you guys can go read it. Um, Mr. DuBose unalived himself. It's not clear right now exactly how he did it. If I had to guess, I would say he probably hung himself, which is one of the most common forms of, you know, unaliving yourself in prison. But um, he had a death sentence, which is why he was at Jackson. Jackson is where they now have death row. Jackson is also a transfer prison, or at least it used to be when I did time in Georgia. All the buses pull into a fence, and it's a big blacktop area, and everybody transfers from one bus to another to get where they're going. Um, but like I said, it's also death row. And apparently, the man just didn't want to have his life in the hands of the state, so he took it into his own hands. And... You know, he basically handed down his own sentence. They sentenced him to death and he brought the death to himself. Um, his co-defendant has life without parole because whenever they, what happened is they were on a transport bus and somehow they got free of their cuffs and they went through the, the partition gate which separates where the guards are from where the inmates are. And DuBose was the trigger man. He got a hold of the guns and shot both of the guards in the head. They proceeded to, I think, carjack a car. Don't quote me on that, but I think they did. And they got away and they later got caught in Tennessee. So anyway, uh, DuBose, the shooter, got sentenced to death. And the other guy got life without parole. But, like I said, he's out of here now. So that's that. You've got the other guy who's going to sit for the rest of his life in prison unless he decides... To do something similar I'm, i don't know where he's being housed i'm sure you can look that up for those that don't know just type in georgia inmate search and it'll take you to the website and you can click on there and you can find people past present i'm still on there um so you can see anybody who's incarcerated you can go look the guy's name up find out where he's at his last institution the whole nine yards but yeah that is some of the latest in the world of georgia prison news man but there's been a lot going on you guys know if you've been watching me for any amount of time, everything has gone in waves. It started with South Carolina just being the wild, wild west, off the chain and unruly. And then they had the riot that killed eight people or seven people. Um, and then it went into being Mississippi, went off the chain. There was a whole lot of killing going on there. And then it went into Alabama, which Alabama is still kind of going. And there was a lot of raping and killing going on in Alabama. And now it's Georgia. Uh, Georgia has had more murders over the last 18 months than any other prison system in America. And it's just, it seems to be a trend. I've said this before. All of these southern prisons, they don't have any inmate, um, what you would call... Uh, politics I guess what you say you know gangs run everything and it's really really wild it's kind of like a every man for himself or every gang for himself but it's not like how in California there's rules 
you know there's rules on racial lines there's rules on different cars you can't just take off and and go crazy and do whatever you want you have to follow certain guidelines or your people check you well, we don't have that in the south and so all of these southern prisons because of how violent they are and you got guys walking around with machetes the size of their arm the guards don't even want to do anything a lot of the guards are on the take they're accepting money to bring in contraband and so it just creates a chaotic environment and it's all across the south except for florida which is kind of weird but from what my homeboy told me who did time in florida the guards up there will kick your teeth in so i guess they still have control of their prison but alabama georgia uh south carolina mississippi Louisiana all these prisons are off the chain right now man if you go to prison in one of these states I mean it's almost guaranteed you're gonna be a victim of some kind of violence or death it's just that bad man they're they're running inmates running the prisons guards have no control nobody wants to work in there because no amount of money is worth your life guards get killed just as well as inmates do and it's just it's crazy man uh, Georgia is supposedly under a big investigation uh, from the Department of Justice I don't know if anything's come of it yet. Uh, forgive me if the wind is messing up the sound. But um, yeah, there's gonna be more stuff coming from Georgia prisons because there's actually another story right now with a guy who was found and an inmate was recording a video. Guy was out there for several hours and guards wouldn't even come. So there's that. I'll probably drop that video the day after tomorrow. Um, well, yeah, when you see this, it'll probably be the day after so i know that when i upload this they're going to demonetize it and i'm going to have to challenge and everything so this probably won't go up until tomorrow but either way some of the latest in the georgia prison system like i said guys like subscribe check out all the links down below if you want to support the channel and i hope you guys enjoyed the content until next time